Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and I'm a simulation engineer at LaunchTech Solutions. Today I will be presenting a demonstration on the Abacus 2022 installation on a Windows client. This is actually a two-part video series. One will explain how to install the Abacus 2022 Golden Edition and followed by how to install the hotfix of the Abacus 2022 which is another video and that link will be posted uh, in the uh, video description down below. Uh, before I go through the installation, I would like to take you through some prerequisites on what you need to do before you go through the installation phase. Uh, one being that of course you need to download the software. This can be found using software.3ds.com. Once you've logged in the website, you will then be prompted to log in your, you know, your account credentials, uh, which was prepared to you when you purchased the software. So once you get into that website, you just and you just have to click Simulia. You have to click Simulia Abacus iSight FEC Tosca. And then you will need to change the level to Abacus 2022 Golden. Once you've been redirected to this page, you can see there are three options. You only need to use the third options and you need to download the five folders presented here, clicking each folder subsequently. Now, once all folders have been downloaded, you have to ensure that you extract each folder to get sorry you extract all folders together not each all folders together please do not extract each folders because if you do that then uh, the extractor will not be able to correctly consolidate all files as one folder uh, target files are intended to be split and then you know uh, extracted together rather than uh, you know doing it separately so once this is done, you then be, uh, you know, you'll then be uh, given this folder where all the contents have been, uh, been consolidated in these five folders. For the Windows client, you just need to double click one and you will be taken to obviously the Windows client installation of Abacus and the respective license server that you are going to use. Before you install Abacus, I would definitely recommend you to install the license server. Uh, well, for FlexNet, you can do it within the setup itself. But if you're using a DSLS license server, then you will definitely need to uh, install the DSLS license server first. All right. After that, then you can start proceeding to the Abacus installation. So let me double click the setup.exe and then press yes. And then I've been taken to the welcome page. Once I'm taken to the welcome page, I press next. And for FlexNet users, you will, if and only if your license server is within the client machine, then you need the FlexNet license server. If the license server is in another, you know, another uh, machine, then you'll need to separately set up the FlexNet license server or you can go here and just, uh, you know, select this. For DSLS, uh, whether you're using it on your machine itself or another location, you'll need to use the folder DSLS license server. Uh, since I am using DSLS for my machine, I am, I've, I already have DSLS license server in that uh, in the machine installed, I will just uh, proceed to installing the Simulia established products and the CAPI, which includes Abacus, EffiSave, and Tosca, both structural fluid of Tosca. For iSight, it's a separate installation. So if you need iSight, you'll need to click this. If you don't need it, then you can ignore. For my purpose, I will be installing iSight. You then go on to next, and then you click install. You then are given the option to choose your installation directly. I will leave it in default, but if you have, you know, a hard disk or another drive which has, you know, a huge storage, then you might want to change that. But I'm happy with mine and I'm just going to press next. And this is where you can choose, you know, the software as you require. Uh, if you want Abacus as well as Tosca EffiSafe, then I recommend you just to click all of them. Okay. For this purpose, I will use all of them. And then I'm gonna press next. 
this is important now. Uh, if you have Simulia Flexit, uh, you can press next, okay? And you will need to, uh, you know, you will need to uh, input the, the, the license server location depending on your uh, IP address or whether it's in the machine. If your, uh, if your license server is within the machine, you can use local host. Uh, you can use actually 27,000 at localhost. If you have another software that uses FlexNet licensing as well, you need to check and you'll need to modulate between 27,000 and 27,010. You can use any numbers between them if they are not allocated already to another software. Obviously, if it's in another remote location, you will then need to put an IP address, something like this, and then you will need to go through it. Or if you have a website where that is being, uh, you know, configured as a license server, you'll need to do that as well. This is only for FlexNet. Uh, since I have DSLS, I'm going to go through the DSLS option. Okay, so for DSLS, uh, I can say that I'm using a local host. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to click local host, for, you know, dot dot 4085. My license server is within this client machine. So I'm going to use the local host. And uh, 4085 is, of course, the admin gate number for the DSLS license server. So I'm happy with it and I go next. Now, this process usually takes time because it checks whether the license is there or not. If the license, if it does not go to the next command and the Windows prompt means there's a problem with your licensing, uh, could be a firewall issue and you need to check that yourself. Like you need to understand what firewall is blocking the license server from connecting to this installation. Anyways, we'll go next. Uh, this is the commands uh, path. Now I'll leave it default, but if you wish to change it, I, that is uh, entirely up to your rights. So that's fine. I'll keep it default. I'll go next. This is an important thing now. Uh, I recommend you never leave your working directory as a temp folder. You should always set a working directory for uh, a folder for a working directory because if you keep it on the temp folder, then and then you know you might do your disk cleanup. You you basically remove all your files. So don't use a temp folder. I would always recommend creating a separate folder just for uh just for you know just for abacus so i'm just going to press the abacus i'm going to press select folder and then this is my working directory so whatever so whatever um um whatever files odbs journal files i have will be saved in this folder and i can consolidate for later if i don't you know by accident set the working directory in abacus fea press next uh, I'd like to leave the plugins on the default location, but of course, if you'd like to change it, it is entirely up to you. Go next. And uh, I do not need any of these connectors or interfaces, so I'm just going to leave them blank for the sake of this installation. But of course, if you're using other softwares to support your Abacus workflows, then of course, you need to click those respective interfaces. We then press next, and uh, these are again other interfaces or keys if you require to connect your Abacus with other third-party solutions. I don't have any connections, so I'm just gonna leave them blank and go next. And with that, I'm gonna start the installation process. So this is uh, one uh, you know process where it usually takes time. Uh, it could take, uh, you know, depending on your uh, SSD, or if you're using hard disk between five and 15 minutes. So I will let this install. And after installing, I will then proceed to uh, explaining the subsequent steps after that. Okay, the installation is almost done. You will then be taken to a verification process, which will verify whether your Abacus is working as intended. It is still installing, but uh, after this, uh, after it goes 100, this is where it starts, uh, you know, playing the verification code. Once this is done, if it's successfully verified, then you will be ensured that Abacus works properly in your system. So I will, uh, I will explain the subsequent steps once the verification process is complete. But during this process, please have a note on what you will see when a verification takes place.
and as you see it says that my verification is now complete and the results of that verification can be found in the folders very important in case your verification fails but for me it's complete so i don't need to do anything after than this so now abacus uh, is the installer of abacus will now close after prompting it to and it will install the cappy i recommend installing the cappy in the same folder where you installed the uh, established products so uh, you know so once uh, you finish that ensure that you're using the same folder to install cappy where you installed established products for some releases this is usually uh, done within its uh, program it automatically tries to find where abacus is installed and it um, you know it portrays the the file path so for mine it did this so i'm okay with that i'll just press next and since I installed all the softwares, I need to, of course, install its respective CAPI folders. Uh, if, of course, you've had a custom installation, then you'll need to, you know, install it respectively. So I'm going to press next, install. I know this is a fast uh, installation, so uh, won't take time, as you see. and my abacus uh, cappy folders have been successfully installed once that is done you will then be redirected to install eyesight so i'm going to press next cannot install in a non-empty directory so if this option comes it's usually because you have uh, a eyesight version with you so what you do is you go to simulia you just delete eyesight just like that and then uh, you go to next now you see it will continue so you then press uh, these three options of course and go next uh, you, it, this depends on your uh, Tommy e configuration I don't have any for now so I'm just gonna skip it I'm going to even skip the simulator execution connection profiler and then I'm going to even skip the documentation for this for, for the sake of this video. I'm going to go next and then I'm going to install just eyesight and the execution engines. So I'm just going to install that. And that's iSight installed. So basically you have now finished installing Simulia Abacus, Tasker, FeSafe and iSight. Go to Dassault Systems Simulia Established Products, Abacus CAE. And if it checks out, license opens and Abacus opens. So with that, you then, you know, are given, uh, you know, th with that you are then uh, sure that you're Abacus installation has been conducted successfully and uh, this is basically the demo for the golden installation. Uh, as I said, uh, for Abacus 2022, the hotfix is required which will be published in another video and the link of it will be posted on the uh, video description below. So thank you for everyone for watching and I hope you've been able to successfully install the Abacus Golden Edition.